Hello, guys. Hello. <clears throat> Hello, teacher. Hi, how Hello. are you doing? Hi. Good. Hello. Yes. All good. Have you celebrated so far? I was no. going to celebrate tonight, Me. this night, at this time. But I said I have English class. <laughs> so I. <laughs> <laughs> You try to look good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, great. I appreciate that. Uh, has anybody already celebrated or done something? Yeah, we just had <laughs> we just had dinner with my brother and your father, or uh, my father is in Savannah. Nowadays, <laughs> so we just stuck with him for a video. Uh huh. Okay. Very good. Anybody else? No. Got it. In my case, my father lives near of uh, of me, but mm -hmm. I only uh, but I only called. Only that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I only called my father. That was it. And I need to call him back because I didn't finish. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, yep. That's what it is. That's what we can do, right? So, well, thank you for being in class. Um, let's begin. Let me see. As you know, right, let's go to the platform. And I think we're going to start from section four. Yes, definitely here. Wilbur, yes, You're celebrating after class, then, right? Yes, I will. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. In three objective, please. All right. In this class, you will learn how to tell stories. Good. On the campfire. So let's watch. I would like you to pay attention, especially to the hands they're using to tell the stories right so to the is it past past continuous so pay attention to that and take notes if you can ready yes yes hey guys you're not going to believe this i just heard a story about this campground what do you mean? What about it? I was just at the bathhouse. I had taken a shower and was brushing my teeth when this woman came in with her daughter. She, she was telling her the story, so I listened in. What's so interesting about this old campground? It isn't scary, is it? Because scary stories freak me out. Oh, don't be such a chicken, Molly. Come on, Ellen, tell us the story. Well, this all took place many years ago. Before it was turned into a campground, this land had been a farm. It was owned by a young couple named Theodore and Dolly McShane. Mr. McShane had inherited the land from a relative. So, what's so scary about that? I thought this was supposed to be a spooky story. I'm getting to that. Just wait. The McShanes were wonderful people. Friendly, sociable, everybody loved them. And they really, really loved each other. Everybody could see it. When they were walking down the street together, they always held hands. When he was working in the fields, he always picked her wild flowers and brought them home to her in the evening. Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet. Oh no, then something bad happened, right? Yes. One day, as Theodore was coming home from town, he saw smoke in the distance. It had been a very hot, dry summer, so fires were a real danger. And was there a fire at the farm? Yes. And as he was hurrying down the road, the smoke was getting thicker and thicker, blacker and blacker. All he could think about was his wife. But by the time he got home, the house was completely in flames. He screamed Dolly's name over and over, but she didn't answer. She was in the house? She died in the fire? Yes. 
It was a terrible tragedy. What happened then? Well, the poor man went crazy. He refused to believe that Dolly had died. For months, he searched for her. He walked all day and night through the countryside and through the town, searching, searching. And in his hands, he always carried a bouquet of wild flowers for his poor, dead bride. So how did it turn out? What finally happened to him? That's the spooky part. It's a mystery. People saw him less and less. And then Theodore McShane just disappeared. No one ever saw him again. But the people who live here say he still walks the forest at night looking for his lost bride. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you ladies. I was making my rounds and wanted to see if everything is all right. Yes, a park ranger, of course. Yes, everything's fine. Ellen was telling us a spooky story when you came by. Campfire stories, huh? That's always fun. Well, okay then. I'll let you get back to it. Thanks for checking on us, and sorry about the screams. Oh, that's okay. I'm used to it. Hey, in the morning, you ladies should take a look down that path. There's a field full of wildflowers in there in bloom right now. Very pretty. Oh, that's good to know. We'll do that, thanks. Here's some for you to enjoy. In case you need anything, I'll be at the ranger station. Thanks again. Oh, what's your name? I'm Ted. Theodore, really. But my friends call me Ted. Ted McShane. You have a good night. <laughs> well, hey, what time did you notice that you? Simple past. Right. Past continue? Past participle. Uh, uh, past participle. Past, past perfect. Past, past. Past perfect. Past perfect, yes. But you build it with past participle, that's okay. Also past continuous, Brenda, that was the second one I noticed. There is one more. We're using the past, right? All forms of the past, but there's another one. They also use would. So uh, she said they would always hold hands. This is the part that you said. They would, would always, yeah. They would always, and he says he'd always visit her, something like that, all right? That's not exactly what they said, but you can say would, okay, to talk about the past, to talk about a routine. So, for example, like I can say, when I was a kid, I would always um, play with my, my friends. Okay. I don't know how to translate that. It's interesting. But yeah, you can use this to talk about a routine in the past. And you can say, I used to, right? I used to, or I would always do something, or I would do it. Okay. Um, we're going to practice, but first, let me see if we have an exercise. Do you have questions, guys? Did you like the story? Yes, I liked it. <laughs> yes, I, I liked it. Yeah, it was yes, it was I funny. did. Yeah, you're going to have to create your own soon, so. <laughs> no, seriously. We're going to do that in a while. And now we'll see the difference between past continuous versus the simple past, right? Um, yeah, because this is something we're going to be using. So. Now I really need you to take notes so that we can combine the story and the structure. Ready? Okay, let's watch. <clears throat> Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn the difference between the past continuous and the simple past. 
Additionally, you'll learn how to express your ideas using both tenses. So let's get started. The first thing that we need to learn is that we'll use both tenses together in order to express complex sentences. So let me give you a quick example. If you want to explain that you were doing an activity such as eating dinner and you were interrupted, uh, let's say by uh, a friend or someone called you, in order to express this idea, you must use the two tenses together. So for example, I was eating dinner last night when my girlfriend called me. So let's look at the definition. We use the past progressive with the simple past to describe an action that was interrupted by another action. So if we look at this example here, they were enjoying the morning. This is the action that was in progress. And there was an interruption. That interruption was the, when the thief stole the briefcase. So now let's look at some other examples. So we got a about two or three examples here and um, again we're trying to express that whole idea that there was a continuous action happening in the past and there was an interruption that occurred so the example here is while he was escaping from the bank the robber got caught in the revolving door so if we look at the timetable here at the bottom we can see that the past event was or the past continuous event was that he was escaping from the bank. All of a sudden this action was interrupted by this blue event which is the robber got caught in the revolving door. Um, and then the next example is quite similar as Jake was running towards the ball he tripped and kicked it into the wrong goal. The last one is uh, similar the secretary was making a speech when a protester threw an egg at her. Um, just a quick reminder here, um, also something that we should uh, keep in mind is that usually, not all the time, while and as will follow a past continuous statement. So as you can see, while he was escaping from the bank, as Jake was running. So typically, these words will follow a past progressive uh, statement, if you will. So what we're going to try to do next is we're going to look at a small paragraph and we're going to try to make sense of it. I will do this one together with you guys and you'll do the next one. So what we want to do here is number one, we want to identify if the statement will be in the past progressive form or it will be a simple past form. In order to do that, we must follow this um, concept that I mentioned that we will use the past continuous for an action that was in progress and the simple past for an action that interrupted that particular action. So the two events are related to one another. Um, sometimes the events may be separate from each other and that's when uh, that's the kind of thing that you need to understand. So let's look at the first one. What you're going to do is you're going to use these verbs in parentheses that you see here and you will either turn those into a past progressive form or a simple past form. So while diverse, as I mentioned previously, uh, typically we will use, whenever you see this word, it will typically follow a past progressive form. But let's make sure that it makes sense. While, so while divers were working off the coast of Florida, they, and here we should use this verb, okay, but then we have to change that into a past progressive form. So let's see. So while divers were working off the coast of Florida, they discovered a shipwreck containing gold worth $2 million. So yes, it looks like this first event is related to the second sentence. Therefore, this is the action that was in progress, and this next sentence is the interruption of this event. So let's kind of like make it work. So while divers were working, That will be our first answer there. Off the coast of Florida, they discover a shipwreck containing gold worth $2 million. Okay, so that makes sense for the first one there. Now let's look at the next one. Divers 
Uh, and also the next sentence also appears that there was an action that was in progress and then there was an interruption. Okay, so this one, uh, we're going to use the verbs in parentheses. So, so the divers, and we're going to say where. We're going to take that verb and we need to change that into a progressive form. We're filming a show about the coral reef when they found the gold. We also need to change that verb into a past form. So there we go. Okay, so what I would like for you to do is to identify whether the sentences are related to one another. And if so, identify what was the action that was in progress and what other action interrupted that first action. So you're going to do this using the past continuous and the simple past form. That first action. Um, let's try to do so, the exercise. Do you have questions before we try to do the exercise? Or is it all clear? It's okay. All clear. Clear. All right. Roberto and Celia, I don't see you. I think I can see everyone else. Yeah. Great. Hey, happy Father's Day, by the way, before I forget telling you. Thank you. Okay. Any of you as a father? All right, uh, let's conjugate it. So the first one is. So you're going to do this using the past continuous. Look other at this. action this interrupted serve. that first action. Two, 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 you see, that happens when you're telling scary stories. That's what happens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> anyway, we can do that later, all right? But you understand the structure. You can use fast, fast continuous. If there is an action like, if, for example, they were having dinner when they heard somebody screaming, right? Okay. Somebody screaming. Well, that's why he'd always visit her, something like this, or used to, right? And that's basically it. If you want to, and if you're able to, you can also use past perfect, like they had, they hadn't been there before, and then they decided to do something. If you can include this, that would be awesome, but I wouldn't require it. I would require you to use especially fast and fast continuous, okay? So what I will do is I will send you some images. We did something similar last time, but I'm gonna send you new ones, okay? So you can either write um, a scary story or choose one of the other ones and make a happy story, it's up to you. Okay, whatever you feel inspired to do. So yeah, I sent you a lot of images. You can use more than one image to tell the story, all right? Because I kind of need it to be about four lines at least. I guess I'll have you work in a group of three so you can have more ideas. First, you can brainstorm, check the images, choose whether it's gonna be scary or not, okay? And try to write a story. Then I'm gonna choose some of you to present it to the class. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. All right. Let's get creative, guys. Please, please, please. All right. I think in a group of three, you can do that better. So accept the invitation and here we go. Let's practice. Gabrielle, you didn't get an invitation? Hmm. 
maybe it's about uh, a couple. Yeah. Um, for example, the first one could be. I'm. Uh, the... Hi, Gabriel. Hi, Gabriel. How are you? Teacher. Mm -hmm. We are going to form a story about a picture. Yes, a story, but first choose the pictures. You can choose one picture or three pictures. It's up to you. Mm, okay. I try to build a story and everybody include your idea. So you say one idea, then Inmar and Gabriel, and you form the story with a bunch of ideas. So don't make it too complicated. Just start working. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Once uh, the, the animals were having a, a running. Martin? No? One running yes. a marathon? Ah, marathon. A, a, a marathon. Running a marathon. marathon. Uh, the animals. Uh, nice, the and the turtle. Way. Okay, the bird and the turtle and the rhino. I think the okay. The have is an and the turtle was doing his best effort to take advantage about the others with the others animals but um maybe the total could win because her friends take prisoner to the rabbit the rabbit sorry it's okay teacher yes they were making their best effort making the best effort okay. yes i would need one of you to write it down okay but take ideas from everyone and put them together so for example you start the story and then no it continues and then jose and wilbur so on. Oh, okay so right try to collect all the ideas and then you'll have your story we we have to choose one picture and make the story about that picture you can use one or three pictures it's up to you Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Kind of improvise it. Don't think about it too much. Don't worry. They know. Deer. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Bear. 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 <laughs> okay. And so raccoon. The others animals were watching. Maybe. Sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. You can. You will say something like the girl was really angry with him, so he created a plan for kill her. <laughs> I think it's a great, a great story. Yes, yes, you could do that. <laughs> okay. You mean her, his girlfriend, right? Is planning to kill him. Yes. Or his wife. No, the girlfriend. Oh, the girlfriend, okay. <laughs> okay, so you have to write, okay, you don't necessarily need to write the whole story, but write the main ideas in case I choose you, you're gonna have to present it. So write the main ideas. Oui. Yes. Okay. Oui. <laughs> <laughs> the second is he broke her heart. Yeah. But he's uh he's married. He thought in, her, in his wife in that moment. He thought mm -hmm. about uh, he thought what? about his wife. Ah uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, he thought about his wife. Walking uh, <clears throat> and going through the final lane. The fi the final lane. And then they were wondering. So that's the second picture. Now, Ed, do you want to continue the third one? Uh, um, uh, 
Did you write it down, Carlos? Yes, I, 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 I'm on it. Uh, write down okay. the main ideas, at least. Yep. In case I choose you. Um, well, the, the, the third one picture, uh, I can say, the bird, the bird was thinking um, about the, the rabbit. Okay. Okay, uh, finally, while the turtle uh, won the career, uh, while the turtle was winning the, the marathon, other turtles uh, had, uh, had caught the rabbit in a tree. How do you say sequestrar? Kidnap or abduct? Uh, the other turtles kidnapped. Kidnapped. <laughs> the ninja <Kidnapped>. turtle. <laughs> turtle ninjas, yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ninja Don't turtles. <laughs> okay, write it down. Ninja turtles. Yeah, and Found of course the they made a party. <laughs> kidnapped the poor, the poor rabbit. Yeah, <laughs> he thought he was clever. <laughs> Okay, so we had a, a nice story. So so now we had to continue with other ones. So which one? Yes, you can continue with another one because nobody has finished. So <laughs> okay, okay, good. So do you wanna do well, uh, Toro starting no what the Toro was crossing started clapping. <laughs> it, it it sounds weird. <laughs> yeah. While the turtle was crossing the line, the the yeah, crew the, the, crew, the crew, crew started 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 is uh -huh, started 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 uh, clap. I, I don't know if you can use <laughs> clap or, or clap. Hard to to. Is, is there any other way to to say? Or or maybe clap is a verb. You can say clap. is uh, in lugar. Clapped. You can say clapped. Clapped. yet. Uh huh. Clapped. No, no, no. <laughs> and they started clapping. You can say that. You can say it yes, also. Started. Class well. Started. Yeah, you can say that. It's started clapping. clapping. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, started clapping. <laughs> <laughs> so while the turtle okay. ah. while the turtle was crossing the line, we have a question, Josie. The mm -hmm. crew started clap clapping because we we want to say in the first uh, for the first image, everybody was uh, in the race of turtle and rabbit and the rabbit. Everybody was expecting for the winner when the turtle. Uh, everyone was waiting in this case. Everybody was waiting for the winner. Waiting, waiting. for the winner. Okay. Waiting, waiting for the winner. When the turtle, I don't cross know. the line, cross the winner line. Yes. Up. How do I say? I don't know. Cross the uh, finish line. The finish line. Yeah. Uh -huh. When the turtle was mm -hmm. That is the expression, uh -huh. cross the finish line. You have the start line and the finish line. And we are okay. we are the same in the second. E when you want to say just come out, come out. Um, in the past. Apareció. Mm -hmm. uh, suddenly because you can say suddenly? appeared or showed up. Showed up. Mm -hmm. Show because me. everybody was waiting for the winner when the turtle Cross showed up. Show up. It depends. They like appear out of nowhere. <laughs> they showed up or arrived or got to the. I don't know what you were going. What you mean to say? Yes, everybody was waiting for the winner when. Suddenly, the turtle hmm? <laughs> apareció. Appeared. Appear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's say that. Everybody. Oh, appeared. But it's okay if we say 
everybody was waiting for the winner when the turtle crossed the finish line. But in the second we have, while the turtle was crossing the finish line, again. While the turtle was crossing the finish line? Yeah, no, but the thing the is that, that, happened. that cannot be while the turtle was crossing because that is in an instant. So you cannot say like, oh, while this happened, something else, right? Uh, that was <laughs> so that's okay. rough. So, us. so everybody was waiting when the turtle crossed the line. That's better. Okay. okay. Everybody okay. was waiting for the winner when the turtle was crossed. No, cross the line. Cross the finish, cross the finish line. line. Cross the finish line. <laughs> right. Okay. Let me check everyone else. <laughs> I've been here too. <laughs> Sorry. So the six was in the, on the way. Okay. Okay. Who's next? And she didn't. She didn't. <laughs> she didn't want the blessing grew up without father. father. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I mean, as doesn't have the same uh, meaning that why. You can say as the third. I have a good family and I, I have, I, I already uh, take the decision that I'm going to, I'm going to try to do my life in another way without you. So we broke it down. But please, Joseph, don't leave me. I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> what can I do? What can I do? You just tell so, me. So there is and nothing I that you can do. I already, I already took the decision. So, so sorry. This was a good adventure between you and me. You Believe me, I still love you, but no more. No more because I, I want to have a better night with my wife. Oh. You broke my heart, Joseph, but I understand. Okay, sorry. Jason's mm -hmm. having fun with this. Yeah. <laughs> I I don't interrupt. <laughs> no, no, yeah, good story. Okay. Have you finished? Yeah, it's the, the first I've, one. Uh, the, the the second one or the first one? The first one. Mm, okay. I think we're the gonna go back. Picture. Some people have finished. Okay. The second picture. Hold on. Let's see if everybody has finished. Let's go back. I'm here waiting. Okay, let me see if everybody's here. Yeah, almost. Well, I'm curious. I, I said I was gonna choose randomly, but no, I'm just gonna choose one that I'm interested in. Amy and, and Carlos Alfaro, your story, I wanna <laughs> tell us. Okay. Roberto, where's Roberto? <laughs> ah, Roberto, you turned the camera on. Okay. There you are. I was looking for the black screen. Carlos, can you please start? Everybody okay, I... Pay attention, please. Light. Okay. Camera. Action. Okay. Um, once upon a time, a girl fell in love with a handsome guy, and she was really fell in love, but... Wait, let me read but the guy has a secret. So the next. This man was not a single man. Um, he had a wife that was pregnant, but he also had a girlfriend. The worst part of this story is um, was when the girlfriend or his lover discovered that his wife was pregnant. 
what happened. I'm waiting. She started, <laughs> she started to make a plan on killing the guy. Wow. Yeah, okay. she was trying to kill him and she created a plan. Carlos? Yeah, but, and also, the lover was pregnant too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so she was really angry and she bought many things for kill him but he was pregnant too like her wife okay. robert at, sure, next. at the end the lover decide not to kill the guy because she didn't want that blessing grew up without a father. Did you call it a blessing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> La bendición. <laughs> so what happened? <laughs> and who, who did the father choose? Hey, this is not a good Father's Day story, guys. Come on. <laughs> no. <laughs> but it's a great, it's a funny. <laughs> yeah. Okay, who did he choose? I want to know. I'm intrigued. The wife or the lover? Both. Both. Okay, well, you know. <laughs> That's what happened. Applause for them. Thank you, guys. Yay. <laughs> All right, awesome. Now, uh, there's an exercise I want you to do in order to consolidate this topic. Okay, so I will send you this link. You will have to choose whether it is Past continuous or past simple. Remember that there is an action in progress and there is one event that interrupts it in the past, right? So I think you know the difference. Um, do you have any questions before we practice? Nope. Okay. So I'll send you the link here. So check, open it, please. I sent it here, not through WhatsApp, okay, but through Zoom. I sent the message. I will see if I can send it to a group, but that's quite complicated. All right, let's work in pairs. Let me see, in pairs. Yes, there it is. Let's do the exercises, accept the invitation. Here we go.
take the next. I think this is simple pass. The mail arrives. When the police. Um, the bear we must tran uh, transform it to get. Get up this morning. And the sun was shining. When I got up this morning. Was arriving. Oh, where arriving? No, was arriving. Was arriving. Are you sure? Yeah. At the party, the music was playing very loud and everybody shouted. Max was waiting. I guess it's in that way because it is the progress while. Let's see. Jim was, yeah. Jim, Jim uh -huh. Jim was Jim, waiting. No, Jim, wait. Wait. Waited uh -huh. at the airport while Max was uh, waiting, uh, waiting at the, at the other one. No, let's see, simple pass or simple pass. Can one of you share your screen? Raul, what are you using, your laptop? Yeah, no, I'm using, yeah, I'm using a laptop. Can you click on share screen? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. Because I wanna see that exercise. No way. Why are you absent so many days now? In the past, you were always in class, and now what's <laughs> going on? <laughs> Sorry, I. <laughs> Yesterday I drove five hours. Oh, how in was a, it back? In a back in hurt? a big, big traffic. Oh, wow. Did yeah. your back Did hurt? You have. Let me see, Jim. Maybe that one year for well, my. No, both of them were doing that, that at the same time. So it's both progressive. It should be at least both. Even though there is a while. Uh, Jim. Jim, both are at the, are, at the, are in the airport. Right, I think they're both, both waiting, waiting at the same time. So it's like, uh-huh, try both. Try, try Jim was waiting. At the at one airport while Max was waiting oh. at the other. Perfect. Yeah, because both of them were doing it at the same time, simultaneously and yeah. aggressively. I think there is there is no, for example, this uh, there is no this interrupted by another one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, that's number four. That the, that it, the reason was a disaster. Uh -huh, exactly. uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Now. I want to see those marks. The number three. The question three is incorrect. Yes, it is. You had to. You had to use past progressive in the first one. And both because Karen, be both of them were waiting at the same time simultaneously. Ah, uh, waiting and waiting. Ah, uh, they were Jim both was, waiting. Mm -hmm. Jim was waiting. At one uh. point, while Max was waiting at the other one, so both of them were doing that at the same time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Number six. His sister offered to help, but Hank refused. His sister uh, uh, offered Hank, to Hank help, was cool. but Hank refused. Uh, Wilbur. It's simple, but yes? Can you share your screen or Gabrielle? 
Yeah, every time I put you like that, try to share someone's screen. Okay, so Gabriel or Wilbur, or we'll share oh, your screen okay. so we can both uh -huh, see at the same time. Compartir pantalla. Mm -hmm. uh, this one. No, I just want you to see the option is there. It's available, right? Mm -hmm. Can you see it? Yes. My yes, screen? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Hank, Hank cooked Hank. in the kitchen. His sister offered to help, but Hank refused. I think it's Hank. Everything in, past, in simple past. Hank, continuous in the... Mm -hmm. The first, first one is continuous. No. The first one. Hank was, Hank was, cooking, was cooking in the kitchen. And his yeah. sister offered to help, to intervene, right? I think we're yeah. going to go back now. But Hank refused. Teacher, and this, we have to answer all of this, and, and do we have to send it after? No, no, just make sure, just check them and analyze it, right? We're going to go back now. So, who was able to finish? Oh, Glenda and Misael, you finished? Who else? We finished. We didn't finish. Yeah, the majority didn't, but almost, right? You were close to finishing. Okay, do you have questions about that exercise? How did you do? Even if you didn't finish it, click on check and, and see if you had the right answers, if you make mistakes. There is a sentence that says that uh, the correct answer is was cooking and we put was cooking and it marks us incorrect uh no but yeah that is the right answer mark was cooking and <laughs> make sure you don't have spaces hank, hank was cooking sorry i had checked the spaces oh okay because like i wrote the answers but first i i click the space then wrote the answers and it marked me as incorrect yep maybe that's what it was and number three was somebody was waiting and the other one was, the other guy was waiting at the other airport. What a disaster, right? They were both progressively doing the same thing at the simultaneously. So that's why you have to use past continuous, right? Because they were both, both of them. That. Exactly. Yes, okay. So I would recommend you to be in class. So that way you don't have to do the platform as homework, but you can do it with me. You can practice and you can learn additional stuff, right? So it's better for you to simply connect for 52 minutes or so than having to do homework at the end and rush, right? But obviously mm -hmm. if you are in class and you wanna study more, you can always check the platform at any time and reinforce some topics. Uh, questions? No. No, no teacher. No teacher. All righty. <laughs> well, again, happy Father's Day. I hope you have a beautiful evening and thank you. I thank will you. see you tomorrow. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Night. Bye. Night, everybody. Bye. Happy Father's Day.